In this video we're going to be tying a simple tube fly. What I've done is just cut an inch and a half to an inch long piece of poly tubing. I'm just going to take it and place it on the mandrel and I'm going to stick it uh, firmly on this mandrel. This mandrel has a little flat kind of tapered cut out and that will prevent any tube slippage. Then the next thing we're going to do is just start our thread. Then we need to tie in our body material. For this I'm just going to use some flat braid. Then I'm going to take the flat braid and just wrap it forward. And you can use whatever color you want. Like I said, I'm just demonstrating a simple tube fly here. You can swap the colors out for whatever of your favorite colors are. And we're going to leave about 20-30% of the, hook, the tube there open. For the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in our little prop. And what this prop does is it helps the material that we're going to use for the wing kind of stand up. In this case we'll, we'll be tying a, a wing with rabbit. And you, again you can use whatever color you want. I'm using some lavender ice dub for this part. And what we're trying to do is just build up a, a bit of a ball. There we go. Once we have the ball tied there, we can tie in the first portion of our collar. And for that, I'm just going to use some Kingfisher Blue Schlappen. It's a very webby feather. I'm going to strip out some of the base feathers, exposing just the stem. And I'm going to tie this in so that the feather curves rearward. And I'm going to take that schlappen and with each wrap I'm just going to coax oopsie try that again here I don't think I tied it in quite tight enough With each wrap, I'm just going to kind of stroke the feathers back. That way they lay backwards on the shank of the hook. And how thick or sparse you want this collar is kind of just personal preference. I would say that's about medium medium thickness. Then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to work back onto the collar ever so slightly. This will just kind of help those fibers lay back. Just like so. Now we're ready for our wing material. For that I'm just going to use a piece of zonkered rabbit. And I want the leather portion of the rabbit to just barely stick past the end of the tube, leaving the uh, guard furs hanging off the back of the tube. You don't want to make it too much longer than that. So I just kind of roughly measure it out and I'll trim my rabbit to length. Then I'll tie it in right on top of the shank of the hook. And after we've done that I'm just going to finish off the fly with another collar. For this I'll just use more schlappen. This time I'll use 
a little bit of black. And I'll just do the same process that I made with my Kingfisher Blue Schlappen. And once I've got my collar built, again, just capture that feather. If you have a few stray fibers, you can just pluck them out of there. And the last thing to do is to whip finish. Then you can add a cone or a disc or something if you like to kind of finish off the fly. What I usually do is just still add a little bit of super glue to the thread then that uh, will glue on your disc or your cone here we'll slide on a little cone and I just take it and shove it back over the material and I had just barely enough tube left I probably tied a little too far forward on my tube and didn't leave enough but I left just a little bit about a sixteenth of an inch of exposed tube that way I can burn the collar on the end of the tube here. And that will keep the cone from coming undone. You can blow on it to finish it. You can see there, nice little rounded collar. But that is just a simple, simple little tube fly. They're pretty easy to tie, very versatile and you can mix and match colors, styles, but that's just the basic kind of foundation of what there is to a tube fly. And of course you can pick your favorite stinger hook to add to the back of that. You can find all the materials for this fly on our website in the riffle.com. That is a simple tube fly.